Hey everybody, it's Dale. Thanks for downloading this week's Transformers Beast Wars podcast. First, I'd like to impose on your time for just a minute uh, to direct you to our show notes, where you can find a few ways that you can help us out. There's a link to our Facebook page, so you can go like us there and participate in any of our conversations. There is an Amazon affiliate link, so if you're buying anything at Amazon.com, please use that link to go to that website, uh, and then just make your purchases like normal. You don't have to do anything special. Uh, we would get a kickback from that, and it would go a long way to uh, to supporting the cause. Uh, every little bit counts. If you're interested in directly supporting the production of the show, click on our Patreon link, and you can learn more there. Uh, and finally, if you could give us a review on iTunes, it would be more than welcome. There was a problem with my editing schedule this week, so the show is a day late. I'm sorry about that, but here it is. And uh, thanks for listening. Here comes the Transformers Beast Wars podcast. Hey everybody, it's Dale. And this is Eric. And this is the Transformers Beast Wars podcast. Which you can find at OptimusPrimeCast.com. This week we're on episode number nine. A Better Mousetrap. Written by Chris Allen Weber and Karen Wilson. <laughs> and directed by Jay Faulkner. A rat trap and Dinobot accidentally activates Sentinel, the Axelon's new defense system, before it has learned that the Maximals are friends. Feeling guilty for starting it, rat trap stays inside the Axelon to shut down Sentinel. Meanwhile, Black Arachnia leads a Predacon mission trying to break into the Axelon, leaving Tiger the only one to stop them. I have an alternate title for this episode. It's, you know, it's all fun and games until someone loses a spinny sword in the security console. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really long alternate title, bro. There's a colon there. You know, mm. it's, it's just... That's true. It was written by two people, so they could have two different titles Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Man, okay, so this week we start out... Yeah, so this week we start out with... Uh, Rat trap, uh, or actually Rhinox. Uh, no, not even. We start. The first shot is uh, is a waspinator oh, digging. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, waspinator's digging underneath the uh, the maximal base with uh, uh, with, with black arachnia yeah, and black pterosaur and, and pterosaur. And uh, waspinator is uh, not appreciating his role in no. this uh, in this mission, is he? No, he's he's fed up. He's fed up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't want to do this. Waspinator, tired of this. Like, Waspinator's great. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, yeah. I don't oh, have to do is that, this. He does say that later on, right? He just says, he says it later great. on, but like, he's like, you know what? I, can't, I don't, don't want to do this. Waspinator doesn't want to do this. You do it. So he does go home. But but, but before that, what, what what is it that they're trying to do? They're digging. They're digging a, a big you know, hole underneath the maximal base so they can get access to it. Okay. And basically blow them up. Basically. They're installing a bomb, right? It's well, a big no, tuning fork looking well, thing. It's a tuning fork looking thing, but it's a... Uh, it's a, a device, if they charge it up, it's able to, I guess, tunnel or make a big explosion to remove Earth underneath the uh, underneath the base. Okay, yeah, I, I think that... Because uh, Black Arachnia actually corrects them because um, I think Pterosaur goes, what is it? Or no, it was Waspinary. He's like, oh, this bomb. And then she's like, no. It's, it's not a bomb, you bug. Huh? It's a sonic emitter. And when we've placed it correctly, it'll blow a sweet little door right in the bottom of the Maximal's base. Mm -hmm. Waspinator has that, you know, has is fed up with it. He's like, "All right, you know what? I'm out of here." And he and he takes off running like a little kid, you know, like. Aah. Yeah, he's basically taking his ball and going home. <laughs> yeah, it's like you won't have Waspinator to push around anymore. So we cut to uh, we cut to the the Maximals in the base and uh, Rhinox. Well, but before even before then, you're trying to get out of this scene so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> because there's the, then there's the power struggle between uh, between uh, Terrorsaur and Black Arachnia. Very true. Because Terrorsaur is uh, it's like Megatron said, "Dig, so dig." Yep. <laughs> but Black Arachnia gets the drop on him. She draws first. But she draws first. She's like, "No, <laughs> no." She's, she's not like, going to take orders. I'm she's the just, brains. Uh -huh. You're the brawn. And it's kind of like a hint of like you know what's going on with the spiders because both the spiders are kind of kind of crafty yeah they have their own stuff going on mm -hmm. and uh and then uh and she's an inventor mm -hmm. um uh tarantulas is an inventor building things 
making things that don't necessarily align with what uh, the Predacons really want to do. It's kind of for their own purposes. Yeah, we don't see Black Arachnia straying too far away from, from purposes yet, though. No. What we're seeing is her just saying, no, I'm not digging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and so far, like, for the two for the two instances that we have, like, basically character development for this new toy, new character. Yep. Um, it's basically... <laughs> a terrible toy. <laughs> yeah. She, like, in, the, in last week's episode, she just, you know, basically just, you know, forget this and just walks off. Yeah. In the middle of the fight. And so then, obviously she's come back, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then in this one, she's like, no, I'm not doing this. You're mm-hmm. doing this. And, yeah, she's you know. like almost like a conditional Predacon. Yeah. And that's a, that's kind of a, that's a, that's the type of thing that does kind of happen uh, in uh, in other uh, iterations of the Transformers franchises. Uh, and uh, that is most uh, typified by Shockwave. Oh, okay, yeah. Shockwave is, uh, you yeah, know, well, he's purple. Yeah, he's purple. He, he has the wrong number of eyes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was reading about him the other day. He was uh, they, there's a there's a comic uh, that uh, that outlines his origin. He was a uh, senator with like all kinds of crazy ideals, and he is who actually installed the spark uh, the uh, the matrix of leadership holding chamber in Optimus Prime before he was Optimus Prime when he was Orion Pax. What? And then uh, the the Senate turned on him and uh, uh, took away his emotional circuits. His emotional circuitry, and took away his hands, and installed claws on him, uh, and uh, and took away his face, and that's how he became cold, unfeeling, logic-serving, shockwave. Huh. Yeah. And then oh. uh, and now like and that's the thing like shockwave is uh, in G1 uh, he is the uh, they call him the guardian of Cybertron, and he isn't really a Decepticon per se. He's just mostly closely allied. With Decepticons <laughs> because it's just logical, and we'll go more into that in our G one podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, but but that's like the thing. That's a, but the the spiders are kind of existing outside of the actual conflict proper. So they're like you know chaotic neutral. Okay, yes, kind of. <laughs> So in any case, back to this power struggle. So she says, "No, you, you know, I'm yeah. the brains. You're the brawn." Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Pterosaur, you know, being the, you know, the uh, yeah. astute <laughs> pillar of, uh, I don't know, <laughs> manliness. <laughs> manliness. I guess you know he folds. Yeah, he folds. Yeah. Bust out the laser eyes. Yeah, bust out the laser. He's not going to mess with the chick. Yeah. So he starts charging up this thing. All right. So he does the thing, and then now we get to Rhinox. <laughs> Now we go to Rhinox. Yeah, Rhinox. Rhinox so proud. Mm-hmm. What did Rhinox do, Dale? He built Sentinel. He built the uh, the uh, the new uh, uh, security system in the Axelon, so that uh, so whenever if the, if the uh, system in, uh, detects intruders, the whole base turns on the intruders. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. So we see a nifty little 3D model of. Uh, Megatron. A 3D model of a 3D model. 3D model of a 3D model. That's meta. A hologram, a holographic 3D model of a 3D model. <laughs> yeah. Um, of uh, Megatron being wrapped up in some, you know, Electronic yellow worms. Electronic ropes things, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then him falling down and throwing a tantrum. Mm-hmm. Um, and then everyone starts boasting about how great this is. <laughs> Beast or mutt, old sentinel here takes him down. You said make the base impregnable. <laughs> well done. But of course, you know who has an issue with it? Dinobot. Dinobot's not impressed. He says, "What are these toys?" Danglers, stun guns. <clears throat> what sort of defense grid is this? Yeah, and trinkets, <laughs> stun guns, yeah, tasers. We, <laughs> we should be going out there and doing this instead of playing with this this dream. How dare you? And Rat Trap is, uh, is, uh, is 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 uh, is coming to Rhinox's defense. Yeah, he's like, hey, you know, this is, this ain't so bad. You know, come on. All right, you know what? Fine. So Rat Trap, I guess, pulls a prank and uh, he turns the system on and targets Dinobot. Mm-hmm. So Dinobot, of course. Gets well, he's, shot. yeah, Dino, yeah, Dinobot gets wrapped up in the. Uh, well, we have a dinosaur getting tied up in ropes, just like we saw. Yeah. <laughs> well, but he's not in beast mode. He's in, no, he's not. He's in bot form. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah, and he's pissed. Yeah, he gets pissed. He tries to fight it, and then he falls down. He's immobilized for a split second. Uh, is able to break free mm-hmm. because that's how angry he could get. Yeah, Dino, so angry. Angry, angry Dinobot is <laughs> <Yeah>. angry. <laughs> so he breaks out of the the constraints, uh, restraints, um, and then charges after uh, after, after Rat Trap. And he's got to stab Rat Trap with he's his gonna, mini sword. Yeah, 
So the thing that I don't get here is that, you know, Rat Trap's like, look out, and then pushes Rhinox out of the way, and then stands in front of the console, and then jumps out of the way so that Dinobot actually stabs the console. Mm-hmm. But if Rat Trap just ran, opposed to, like, pushing Rhinox out of the way, because, like, I mean, Dinobot wasn't going to go after Rhinox. No, he wasn't. So why push Rhinox out of the way? I don't know, because Rat Trap heart Rhinox. <laughs> So, yeah, he pushes Rhinox out of the way, mm-hmm. Dinobot stabs the console, and of course, everything goes haywire. Mm-hmm. But literally, it happened so fast yeah. that it's not like Rat Trap was planning something. Correct. His, his, his you know, it was, just a, uh, it was just a snap decision. Everybody get out of the way. Protect my buddy. Crazy chopper face is coming to get us. <laughs> the Pred's gonna stab you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Dinobot stabs the control console for, the, uh, for, uh, uh, for Sentinel. Mm-hmm. And now Sentinel is active and is uh, picking targets. Yeah, it's, it's targeting all the Maximals. Mm-hmm. And Rat Trap's like, well, but, what, but, but what about the friend or foe uh, protocol or yeah, whatever? That's what Rhinox was getting ready to do <laughs> before Rat Trap decided to act the fool. Yeah, earlier when uh, they, they were interrupted uh, while this was going on, um, because, well, before, when uh, Rhinox was giving this information to Prime, and saying this is what's this is what the new system's all about. Mm-hmm. This is what it's capable of, and and he's like, well, how soon can it be fully implemented? And Rhinox had this very uh, Doctor Frankenfurter, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Short. Look it up, yeah. <laughs> uh, Frankenfurter moment. He's like, well, we'll be ready in a couple cycles to, and then all of a sudden he just stops because there's a an alert in in sector. <laughs> blah blah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Big Bot, there's a Predacon making the scene in Sector 19. Looks like Waspinator. Yeah. So yeah. Cheater Ch- Cheater goes and alerts basically Prime at the time. This is before like the stabby stab. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because Primal leaves before this happens. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Primal leaves. Um, because Waspinator, he sees we- Waspinator leave on the. Uh, on the screen, basically, uh, leaving the uh, on the radar. The they dig, catch, yeah, yeah they, they're catching a Predacon signal on the radar. The thing, yeah, and did they identify it as Waspinator? Yeah, uh, okay. Cheater identified it as Waspinator. Uh, Optimus Primal's like, "Hey, man, uh, drop a line to uh, Tigertron. We're gonna mm-hmm. we're gonna go check this out. Okay, uh, you guys be good, play nice." And that's when all the fun things happen. <laughs> Nothing so. fun can happen when there's a primer around. <laughs> no. If your name is Optimus, we're not having a party. No, we're not. We're just going to sit around and listen to you uh, wax heroic. When uh, the ape's away, the mice will play. This is what happens. And then, so, uh, so okay, so yeah, uh, Optimus so, leaves to go meet up with, uh, with Tigatron, and then all this stuff goes down. So uh, the system comes live. Everyone evacuates. Rat Trap decides to take it on his own. He's like, you know what? I yeah, I they're all trying this. to get out of there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Rat Trap's like, you know what? I I started this. I'll I'll go ahead and and, and fix this. And I'll he's crawling it. into a, a, an air duct. <laughs> yeah, MGS style, Metal yeah. Gear Solid style. Um, and the funny thing is, is that uh, this this one scene. It's really great. There's a there's a moment where Rhinox shouts up, it's like Rat Trap. <laughs> <laughs> and it reminded me so much of like the Metal Gear series. Like when uh-huh. you die, it's like you hear the Colonel go, "Snake, snake." Yep. Or anybody, or yeah, anybody. whoever whoever he's talking to on the phone at the time, <laughs> just likes to yell. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so then uh, then we cut back to Prime, and Prime and Tigertron are um, decide to. Poor, poor Waspinator. Try yeah, to, Waspinator, try to mess with yeah, Waspinator is like has, has 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 stopped his duties. He is not playing anymore. Yeah. He doesn't want to hang out with Pterosaur and Black Arachnia. They are not fun and they are not nice. So he's leaving and he's doing his. <laughs> he's, he's he's flying around doing his self affirmations yeah. like Waspinator is so great. Waspinator yeah. is the best predicate. No Waspinator, sick of taking orders. No Waspinator is greatest of predicates. Megatron's gonna see how great. Waspinator yeah. is. Waspinator rules, <laughs> yeah. is what he's saying. <laughs> Wait, the Waspinator is the, 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 the ruler of the present. Because I'm good enough and I'm smart enough and not got it, people, people like, like me. me. And that's so, so Waspinator is just doing that. So you got, I feel bad for Waspinator. Yeah. Right now, he's not doing anything. And Prime meets up with uh with, with the Tiger Tiger Tron. Tron, and he's like, "Hey, what's up with Wasman?" And he's like, "Ah, oh, man, he's just flying around in circles, man. He's giving me a headache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I just can I just kill him already? Yeah. <laughs> he's been doing this for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but Primal wants to see what he's up to, see if he can f- flush out some uh, some information. Yeah, he's like, like shaking him, hang on, I'm gonna shake him up a little bit. So Primal uh, 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 jets up. 
Yeah. So he maximizes and flies up there and then punches Waspinator in the butt. Yeah, he flies up and just knocks him completely, like, end over end mm-hmm. in yeah. the sky. Knocks him on the butt, and then uh, Waspinator's <laughs> looking around, can't see anybody, doesn't know what's going on. Which is funny, because at this point, like, uh, Prime sneaks up behind Waspinator. And there's this very cartoony, you know, uh, just tap tap on the shoulder. Yeah, he does the tap tap, which which and, I find and funny. And then waves, yeah, with and the then fingers. waves yeah. with his fingers when he turns around. Um, what I don't understand is that you know, Waspinator has compound eyes, right? Yes. You know, and insects usually he with can't the compound see eyes, in 360 and, degrees. They, they, though they, they you can't should. see all the way you know, around. They, they, they insects should they they do. He's got a, eh. but he's not a real insect. And from the shot, you could see the compound eyes like going all the way in the back where they would be able to. See. I'm just saying. Mm, yeah, roll out. <laughs> So yeah, Prime takes this. That moment ruins to... comedy. <laughs> Science ruins comedy, Eric. <laughs> Think of the classic anvil drop on the head. Science would ruin that comedy. Or would it make it better? Uh... Uh, it turns it into a horror movie, oh, okay. which does make it better, but still. <laughs> but yeah, so Prime like continues to mess with, with Waspinator chasing mm-hmm. him around, like, you know. They have a good chase scene. Yeah, there is a pretty good chase scene. It was a good chase scene. Well directed, a lot of action. Yeah. A lot of movement. Lots of lots of bright colors and <laughs> <laughs> lots of bright colors and movement. It caught, it kept my attention. <laughs> And then, at, like somewhere at some point in the chase scene, like Prime's chasing after him, uh, Waspinator takes a, a sharp turn somewhere. He loses him. Uh-huh. He turns to chase and follow. He sees the cliff face. Yeah, yeah. And Primal almost runs right into a cliff face and stops himself from doing that by just going straight by up. going straight up into an overhang <laughs> into an overhang and hits himself. Yeah. Spins out of control momentarily, I guess, without very little uh, <laughs> effort to correct. Yeah. And, and regain control. Mm-hmm. And of course, Tiger Tron's like bro. <laughs> and the funny thing is, like, like Prime goes and does this huge maneuver to avoid basically discovering yeah. what Tigertron ends up coming up with a little bit later. Mm-hmm. Is it the same spot? I don't know if it's the same spot. Might be the same spot because if Waspinator just disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. But um, Prime goes and, and and comes back down after correcting. Uh, meets up with Tigertron. And he's like, "Hey, man, we got to try to find out what's going on." And then on, and then um, Tigertron's like, "No." He's around here somewhere. Let me flush him out. Uh, I, I'll I do my hunting best alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Pri- Optimus was going to send uh, send uh, send some backup. Yeah, and then all of a sudden because because he got the message about Sentinel going. Yeah, off. he got Sentinel yeah, going yeah. off, which which confuses me because like why why would is he... Sentinel why does Sentinel know he's a friend? Yeah. Why is he getting the text from Sentinel? <laughs> hey, bro, d- tweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at Optimus Sentinel's Primal. At Optimus Primal. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to let you know there's, there's yeah. somebody in the base. <laughs> yeah. At Monkey Love. Hashtag get here quick. <laughs> Hashtag don't know what to do. <laughs> but yeah, so Tiger Tron's like, no, I got this. <laughs> yeah, Tiger, Tiger Tron doesn't want any help because he's 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 the other new toy. I don't need to, hunt, help hunting Prids. We gotta see him being a tough guy, <laughs> which which is funny. And like, um, so Prime's like, all right, fine, I gotta hurry back. Mm-hmm. And then like his suit's like, oh well, low resources. Oh yeah, and he was like, yeah, he was he was already shorting out, so he transformed. So he went to beast mode, and then uh, but he wasn't in beast mode very long. So when he goes back to uh, to uh, he, when he maximizes again, he's only got like fifteen percent. Of his whatever kind of reserves are going to protect him from frying out. Yeah. He's like, oh, gotta chance it. <laughs> so he uh, voice activated jets again. Voice activated jets, <laughs> slightly cooler than they were before. He didn't call them prime jets. No, no. And no, he, he did tell him uh, tell him to do what, like maximum burn. Yeah, maximum burn. Maximum burn. <laughs> and then he gets the heck out of there. And then we cut back to the axolot. We're yeah, sitting we outside of the axolot. <laughs> <We're>... And... <laughs> Where Rhinox and Cheetor and Dinobot are stranded, and the uh, the, um, the the shields, yeah, the come uh, on over the whole base. Yeah, because I guess part of the Sentinel program is to completely encase the uh, mm-hmm. the Axelon and lock and, them down. And shields. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. prevent anything. Nothing comes in, nothing comes out. Yep, and then uh, Rhinox is trying to get Rat Trap on the comm link. That's not working. <laughs> no, because of course, why not? Why would you love communications? Well, and that's, that's kind of <laughs> smart. You know, well, yeah, that's not bad. That's not not bad design on the, on the uh, attributed to Rhinox. And there. then there, and and then after that, there's a lot of uh, mention of slag. Yeah, and, <laughs> and uh, then, my well, my favorite, I wrote down what Cheetor says. He says, "Giga bummer," <laughs> not to be confused with Mega bummer, no. Terra bummer, oh. <laughs> or Tilla bummer, or, or just a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> so Cheetor says, "Giga, giga bummer," and then uh, so, and that's pretty much it for that bit, right? Yeah. Does Prime show up yet? 
Uh, no, because they're no, still trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they're going to start shooting at the shields. <laughs> they're going to start shooting at their own ship trying to break in. We were asking, we were hoping for this to happen, remember? When Optimus Primal yeah. uh, sets up the... <laughs> Last sets, up the, sets up the camera. Was it last episode? I think it was last it was episode. Like, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, he sets those up. It's like, man, I really hope the next episode <laughs> is them being stuck outside where Waspinator gets that uh, gets that rock dropped on him, just trying to figure out how to get back in. Because yeah, like that last episode, you mm-hmm. know, they had the automatic cannons like enable. He's like, okay, yeah. disable the cannons for thirty seconds so I can get out of here, and then yeah. re-enable, mm-hmm. and then get back. And it's like, uh, did you, did you get you guys get the keys? Yes, yeah. I, I I locked myself out. Uh, yeah. And then this is the same thing that when they're locked out. Yep. But um, at that point, we we ended up cutting back to uh, back to Rat Trap. Rat Trap. Back, back to Rat Trap. Which uh, which is kind of funny because like up to this point, like he's going through and he's finding like all these like hidden traps and stuff that I guess Rhinox has programmed into the Exelon mm-hmm. as part of the uh, part of the defense. And we actually kind of get the like, inside thing like the uh, in Double Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we, we we come a, we come across the hint of like you know rat trap oh now he's a spy and then in this episode it is the first like actual solid hint mm-hmm. of him being a spy because rat trap's like dancing around these traps yeah he's and... talking about him being a pro some yeah. kind of a pro at this type of thing this is like a gym to me uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like really because like in the first episode you were just saying like he hey, wasn't into any kind of combat at no, all no nothing yeah, he was like we're explorers <laughs> we're gonna die yep for someone who's a spy. I think that maybe there was a little bit of a concern as to whether or not they'd sell any rat trap action figures. And and that's one of the things that I kind of like pulled from this episode. It's like, you know, the uh, the producers and the writers and stuff like that are like, no, no, really, really, rat trap is really awesome, okay? Yeah. You know? <laughs> we promise. Check it out. Look yeah. at all the things that you do. This is, the, this is what I was talking about, like, when, <laughs> I, when, like when, when I was saying, like, if they were in a different universe, the Black Arachnia episode would have been her being a badass. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time and everybody failing and being like, oh wow, Black Arachnia, you're so cool. <laughs> and what do we have? We have Rat Trap surfing the Energon wave. Yeah. The the the, the, the floor. Yeah, becomes, the floor. Oh, it's a it's a it's a frictionless no, floor. frictionless floor. And then he says, oh come on, really? <laughs> and he drops the metal grate on it and then surfs away. And then a uh, oh yeah then the then the, the then the sweet electric net comes up on one side which, and then there's guns on the other which side which is kind of funny because the net only comes up like halfway and it's like really if you're going to be like doing security op- or security measures and everything yeah. why wouldn't you do the net all the way up uh, I don't know it takes I, just I, as much resources to do it halfway up than the whole thing oh no I don't think so it takes easily twice as much to uh, to. <laughs> To go the full way with the, with your net. <laughs> you know what? You could take the emitters for that net and space them out in a way that you could get a cross hatching pattern that would cover the entire entrance. Well, you talk to Rhinox. You know what? You could roll out on this. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm right. <laughs> yeah. So he surfs and he does a sweet jump over the uh, over the uh, over the net. <laughs> yeah, and then there's a couple there's a couple shots. He runs they got down some, the corner. They got some generic surf music. Yeah, Dick Dale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got some fake Dick Dale music, and then uh, and then he's uh, and then he does that. What what does he end up doing next? He, he runs down another... to the end of the corridor. Uh huh. And then <laughs> it, it cuts to the security cam footage. Of him running down to the end of the corridor. Oh, he yeah. turns the corner outside of the doorway. And waves. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, comes, then back. Yeah, comes back and he waves. Waves back to the camera. Mm-hmm. And then we cut. That was the end of the scene. That's kind of adorable. I'm really liking Rat Trap. Yeah, it, I'm it enjoying is him now. Like in between, in between the last episode and Double Jeopardy, where he's like waving and giving the thumbs up behind mm-hmm. uh, Pterosaur, mm-hmm. and then there's it's just like, yeah, okay, you know, this is funny. This is mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Um, I was worried when they when when he started surfing. Yeah. But since they really committed to it, <laughs> you know, since they kept going and let Rat Trap have some fun in the scene, I I was with them. I was with them, you know, especially by the by the time he, he pokes his head back around the corner and waves. <laughs> the timing on it was fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. The timing and the direction on on that particular you know moment it was, it was just great. I thought it was delightful. <laughs> so Tigertron is uh, is is uh, we come back to Tigertron mm-hmm. tracking Waspin and he's sniffing around, and then uh, he comes across to the. the the cliff wall, basically. Yeah, he comes to the cliff wall, and he's, and like, he's like, "I smell him over here." What's going on here? More of this uh, robots with really good noses. Mm-hmm. You know, we had uh, we had uh, 
um, Optimus Primal smelling Cheetor on a on a on a disc in the web, and now we have Tigertron smelling Waspinator in the air. Some smelly at the guys. Cliff face. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh, it's, 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 the, of the resources that they're fighting over, none of them is soap. <laughs> so, <laughs> Waspinator might smell pretty waspy. Maybe, maybe. What's a wasp smell like, Dale? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know, and I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know what the hell a wasp smells let's get, like. Let's get a bag of wasps. <laughs> <laughs> and put my nose in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, Tigatron eventually uh, is smelling a wall, and then he just sticks his face in the wall. Yeah. Something. Something just seems like yeah, this wall is more than than meets the eye to this. <laughs> <laughs> So he pokes his head through this wall, and he, he's like, "Oh, a hollow projector." <laughs> Very clever. Very clever. <laughs> And, yeah. then we, and then we cut back to the axe a lot. Well, not uh, uh, not quite. What? After he pokes his head through, he sees someone coming. Does he Some see light. them yet? Yeah, there was there was lights that were shining on the wall that ended up being these. Oh, it's those little things. Flashlight bugs. Flashlight bugs. Yeah, yeah. It's a flashlight with six legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. To which why, you said, "Why wasn't this? A why wasn't this a toy?" <laughs> I mean, come on. Think about a marketing department. You could sell these to the kids. Like they could have them in the beds. Like yep. you know, transforming flashlight. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know. Just Kids wind it up, them. it walks around, <laughs> yeah. it's like it's a nightlight, it's interactive. Yeah. It could win, be fun. win, 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 win. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah, that okay, so yeah. <laughs> he didn't didn't run any, into anything too like nothing that advances the plot. No, but, but he, he is was, gonna follow these flashlights. Yeah, bugs. he's gonna follow it. Which, Why the but, heck were these flashlight bugs know. away from the party? I don't know. And where were they coming from? If the only entrance is where Tigertron came in, yeah. Why were they off in a corner somewhere? I'm talking flashlight bug conspiracy, man. Mm, transform and roll out. Okay. <laughs> back to so the Axelon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get back to the Axelon where everyone is just laying waste, Wailing. shooting yeah. everything that they got at the uh, at the Axelon to try to get these shields down. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we have uh, Cheetor with his butt gun. <laughs> we, have... <laughs> we have Dinobot with his laser eyes. <laughs> and we have, you know, we have... Rhinox uh, with his Gatling Waspinator disassembling gun. Yeah, and... and it, Nothing's working. Nothing's working. And then they're uh, and they've been doing this for so long, obviously, that they all start to short out. Yeah, they start to short <coughs> out. And, mm-hmm. and Ryan's is like, no, no, hold on, this isn't working. Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, you built the system. Wouldn't you know that this wouldn't have worked to begin with? Had to try. <laughs> so, and uh, just at the same time, while they're all going back to beast mode, Optimus Primal is landing. Yeah. <laughs> and he's also frying the heck yeah. out because <laughs> these guys, what's going on? I got I got your tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I got your tweet. What's up? What's going on? Yeah, hashtag got here fast. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> a skinny. But yeah, so, so they like, let him know what's going they on. They let him know what's going on. He's like, yeah, well, what's going on? Why is this doing it? Why is it? Why are the system still up? Rat Trap is still in there. We got to get him out of there. <laughs> yeah, because I get, well, obviously Rhinox knows that every, t- like, the longer that Rat Trap's in there surviving, the, uh, the, the more the defense system is going to ratchet itself up. Yeah. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Until the inevitable happens, which mm-hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll talk about which that we're later getting a little to, bit. Yeah, but having things get worse is what happens next. Yeah. Because so- another Metal Gear Solid, <laughs> Rat Trap on the epic ladder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we come back to Rat Trap. He's going through, uh, going through. I guess uh, what would be uh, vertical air duct. Oh, vertical air duct. Access uh, panel, <laughs> access thing. I was gonna say Jeffrey's tubes, but that's a Star Trek, uh, the Trekkie in me coming out. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's going through the uh, through, through these tunnels. Starts climbing up. Um, guns appear above him. One gun above him. Yeah, gun appear ab- above him, and then a uh, uh, a stasis field. Oh, is that what that was? Appears okay, yeah. below him. Basically, mm-hmm. it's gonna knock him out. And it starts coming up, and it's, he's like, oh, "Are you kidding? I, I'm a crack shot. Yeah, I, I'm awesome at, at what I do. Blah blah blah. Yeah, something something. <laughs> and a demolitions expert. But that's what he says after he uh, after he shoots the first gun. He shoots the first gun, and then the system's like, "Okay, let's turn this thing up." Yeah. We'll so they turn up the heat. Three, three guns. guns come out, <laughs> yeah. and then the uh, the stasis field starts uh, uh, chasing him upward. The, uh, the the cool thing about this, like, this scene was just really freaking cool. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, um, yeah, he shoots the first gun, no problem, all right, whatever, standard, yeah, whatever. But um, the three guns show up, start shooting at him. They blow up the uh, the blow up the ladder, and then he, like, falls for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then he transforms and, like, does this, like, awesome, like, Metal Gear legs out. Oh, yeah. Screeching on the that's side. Right. Hold that's on. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like a splinter cell. Yeah, man. Just <laughs> yeah. freaking cool. Like, I mean, this episode is absolutely like Rat Trap's episode. It's mm-hmm. just like, yeah, 
Yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm and awesome. so far, really, like if I was gonna play a, a Beast Wars video game, I would want it to be a Rat Trap game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially if it was like you know a Metal Gear Solid game with the yeah. Rat Trap skin. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. Yeah, that would yeah. totally be awesome. I don't have the skills to program that. No, no. Do it, someone, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then send us the link. Yes, please. Um, but yeah, so he ends up getting past that. Um, we cut back to Tigertron. Yes. Where he starts coming across the plot here of uh, of the Predacons basically trying to uh, dig this out. Mm-hmm. And while this is going on, uh, Waspinator is telling all the rest of the Predacons that are in there, uh, you know, Black Arachnia and, uh, and Pterosaur, you know, Prime is out, Primal is out there. We need to go get him. We need to do this. We need to do this now. And they're like, no. No. <laughs> you left. You're an idiot. No. Mm-hmm. You don't know anything. So th- they start going on about their business, and uh, Tigertron decides to transform to stealth mode. Yeah, yeah. It's like, really? Yeah. <laughs> there were two of those. There were two of those in this episode. Tigertron, uh, Tigertron maximize stealth mode. What does that mean? Just do it quietly? <laughs> I don't know. Why would you like, ever want to transform <laughs> loud? It's still the same speed. Yeah. And then on top of which, it's like, it's like me going, it's like, Eric, sneak into the kitchen. Grab a ice cream bar. Don't let anybody know. Quietly. <laughs> to myself, with no one around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But yeah, so he, he stops them. Mm-hmm. Um, grabs well, yeah, he the, interrupts them. Interrupts yeah. them. Um, grabs the tuning fork of destruction. Yeah, shoots that out of the wall, right? Or does he just go grab it? He goes and grabs it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, he steals that. Black Arachnia is affronted. Oh, he's stolen my invention! <laughs> Freaking mad scientists on the Predacon team, <sighs> and then uh, a chase scene ensues. Like, Good fight out, out of the out of the uh, out of the corridor. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it was, it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. It was a fine fight. <clears throat> action so- packed. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That's one of the things that I enjoyed. the The action scenes in this uh, in this episode were not the uh, uh, with the exception of uh, really uh, um, Optimus Primal sneaking up on Waspinator doing the tap tap tap, and then the wave. Yeah. Outside of that. Uh, the uh, the action sequences were all really pretty serious. Agreed. You know, the, the, there wasn't any slapstick. There wasn't any uh, noise of face on glass. Well, yeah, there, there wasn't any face, face on, on glass, glass or flesh on glass. Yeah, yeah, when Optimus Primal runs into some rocks, you know, he's hurt. Mm-hmm. Because you're not supposed to run into rocks. No, well... Even if you're a big bad robot. Because yeah, no. seriously, you know what? You run a, <laughs> you run a jet into some rocks. Well, you know, what about Rhinox? Go Rhinox bad. plowed through some rocks and Prime was like... Primal he was a was rhino like, at the time. He was a rhino at the rhinos time. rhinos running into boulders. Obviously. <clears throat> okay. I'll, I'll roll out on that. That was a different episode anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Written by two different people. Yeah, yeah. That totally was a Bob, different people. That was a Bob Forward story. Well. I don't see what your point is. <laughs> but yeah, so like um, they, they turn a corner mm-hmm. and all of a sudden the Predacons lose Tigertron. Yeah. And there's this great... I don't know. It's I don't know. I found this moment really great and fun. Um... Like, where'd he go? I don't know. Where is he? And then all of a sudden, surprise! Another Splinter Cell moment. Yeah. Oh, Tiger he's Tron, up there. He's up there, like, up above them, you know, legs and arms pressed out against the wall, like, in, in mm-hmm. this, like, Holding corridor. the tuning fork. Where did he go? Right here, Predacon. <laughs> yeah, holding the tuning fork, and then pulls his weapon out. He his says, butt hey, gun. up here, his yeah. butt gun. And like does some wild west shooting hands <laughs> guns. Yeah, out of he hands. shoots all the guns out of everybody's yeah. hands except for Black Arachnia. She still had hers. She did. Yep. Yep. Why he, did she shoot? She. I don't know why she didn't. Uh, oh well, the <gasps> thing is that oh, she yeah. needed to talk about. She needed to talk him down. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots Pterosaur's gun out of his hand. Shoots Waspinator's gun out a butt gun out of his hand. He has a butt gun too. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and then I, I I just realized that my Waspinator was complete this week. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very happy with his you. missile storage is in his wings. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um. So I've never shot his butt gun until this week. So I'm very, very happy. <laughs> very uh, proud of you. <clears throat> thank you. And uh, so uh, so he shoots <laughs> the guns out of everybody's hands. Black Arachnia says, you got to cut it out, man. That thing is going to blow up and we're all going to die. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah? <laughs> in that case, allow me to return it. Well, here, have it back. <laughs> throws it at them yeah and he's able to embed it in the in the ground in front of uh, of the predacons whereas they had to work really hard to get it into that wall earlier <laughs> yeah. which makes me want a tigertron toy really bad <laughs> oh man i need a tigertron so toy. they all run out mm-hmm. let's get out of here
Uh, Tigertron transforms back into Tiger form, mm -hmm. tries to run out, the thing explodes, mm -hmm. and then we cut back to the Maximals about, yeah. outside of the base, and you see this huge mound of dirt just come out, of, like, open up. Yeah. <laughs> lots of <laughs> lots of shards of pixels. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> okay, of, of, of the, out of this whole episode, this was the bad animation. Oh scene. my god! Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it explodes uh, and then collapses, and mm -hmm. then everyone's like, "What the heck was that? We yeah. gotta go check that out." Jumping gyros. What was that? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how they talk. <laughs> so they go over. Yes, they do. do. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Some very serious music yes. while the wa rocks are rumbling. Yeah. Like, oh no, who's underneath the rocks? <laughs> Did he, did he make it out in yeah, time? I don't know. Out. Who is it? Tiger Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes out of the rocks and he's like, oh, they have guns drawn and everything. He's like, did it, did it, what's going on? Tigertron? And then he's like, long story. And Prime's like, I'd love to hear it after this. <laughs> Cuts a commercial break. <laughs> yeah. No, but no, he's like, after after we deal with this situation, he points back to Axelon, which is still, you know, under force shield and locked down. Mm-hmm. So then, the rest of the episode, we're basically inside the Axelon. Yeah, hanging out with Rat Trap. The, uh, he, has got, he has gotten to the computer core. He's in the room where the computer core is. Oh he my has God. a oh, line oh, of sight. Oh, 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 oh. We what? forgot the second moment in, in this episode where we have the transformation specificity of something else other than transforming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Optimus Primal uh, has everybody transform battle mode. <laughs> yeah. Battle mode. Why? Yeah, yeah I don't know it's why. It's no yeah. different. Yeah, that is this part, too. Oh, right yeah. When, the, when, when, uh, when, when Tiger Tron shows up. Everything explodes and Tiger Tron shows up. Yep. <clears throat> so we're back in the control Maximize room. battle mode. <laughs> why? Why? What? What? You know. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm going to be in bathroom mode. That's why I take off my pants. Oh, come on. The, <laughs> so, so, so Rat Trap has finally gotten to the uh, to the core, yep. the computer core, the computer core. Uh huh. He, he is he is uh, face to face with uh, with Sentinel's brain. Yeah, we uh, we have some rope swinging or cable swinging. Yep. We have uh, some uh, pulse dodging. Yep. He's getting shot at. Yeah, and then uh, eventually gets the, to the, the, the defense grid, grid is super hard. Yeah, yeah, super hard. It's coming to get him, and he stopped making uh, uh, quips. Yeah, he's on, he stopped he, being clever about it. He's on big box mode, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's like he's he's just trucking through this thing. Yeah. literally just trying to dodge bullets, not just dodging bullets like he was earlier. So true to form in every comedic <clears throat> slash action action scene involving like. Uh, Dangerous situations and trying to deactivate something. Rat Trap gets up to the console and tries to enter in passcodes to oh, yeah. open up the the console to shut the system off. Mm -hmm. And it's like tries one after the other after the other, no success. And he's like, "What is what is Run Rhinox? Go ahead and program in here for the deactivation code." And then he pounds his fist on the console, and then it opens up the button to deactivate. Mm -hmm. Big red button. <laughs> <laughs> But then, at that moment, like the 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 system, the Sentinel steps it up again and has a uh, uh, has a shatter ray or uh... something like that. Something shatter beetle online. Something. Something really bad and bad. Biggest gun we've seen <laughs> so bad. far in the episode. Yep. Yeah. So it uh, it goes and shoots out a big huge section. Uh, a pylon falls down on top of Rat Trap. And yep. Pins and he him. is pinned. And he is pinned just too far away. Just too far. He's trying to reach and the. Um, the uh, disruptor ray uh, charges up mm -hmm. and trains on him while he's still stretching out his hand trying to get to that red button. And then uh, it, it fires and he dies. <laughs> the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, outside of the ship, the uh, the other Maximals, they see that the ship and the shield's powering down and, and they start talking to him like, oh no. And, and Prime's like, what? He's like, well, you know, the Sentinel's powered down, so... That means Rat Trap's dead. Yeah, if uh, if uh, if there was still an intruder inside, it would still be active. It would still be active. Hey, the shield went down. No. What is it, Rhinox? Sentinel wouldn't drop the shield if an intruder was still active. Rat Trap gone? No way. No, I don't believe it. And so there might. Not, there's probably apparently not a uh, an intruder that is functioning yeah inside the axelon anymore yeah so let's uh, all eulogize yeah rat trap it's kind of a, a big blow here because you know um you you spent all this time in the, the previous episode and this episode getting to really love this character mm -hmm. and, and he's just gone now just just very he's easily gone popular. and yeah, he's like everyone starts talking about like you know how great he was and then uh 
Dinobot just poops all over that. I won't disgrace his memory with lies. He was a stinking, omnivorous pestilence. <laughs> <laughs> let's, like, no! <laughs> let's not dishonor his his memory with lies. Yeah, let's not dishonor his memory with lies. He was horrible. He was this and that. But he was, I guess, tolerable. <laughs> but yeah. But I'll miss him. <laughs> but I'll miss him. Sorry. And then we have a very moment a moment where, uh, where Rhinox is like, Rhinox heart rat trap. Yeah, Rhinox heart rat trap. He says, Sure, he smelled bad. He was a rat. But he was my best friend. And you know what that proves, Eric? Hmm. Rhinox didn't vote for Dinobot. <laughs> oh, oh, you jerk! You jerk! Oh. oh! 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 I hate you. Yeah. Aside from that, there is a video. You had prior knowledge. No, I saw a video on uh, on um, on YouTube. I'll post it. It is a. Uh, it's the scene where. Um, where where uh, where uh, Optimus Primal uh, says Red Trap, you're in charge. From from right after that vote happened, uh -huh. all right. And Cheetor makes a stink face <laughs> in the background. It's in the background, and he puts it three times, <laughs> slows it down twice. Did you see it? Did you see it? Cheetor <laughs> voted for for uh, for Dinobot. And if <laughs> and if you and if you still have something to say about it, you you have even less of a life than I do. <laughs> I'll post that. Like but conspiracy yeah. theories about the, the, yeah, the secret about, ballot. Yeah, about about the secret ballot. I mean, granted, I made a chart. Yeah, I made a flow mm -hmm. chart. Um, but yeah, okay. So that happens, and then and then we have this oh, yeah. weird uh, the fake out uh, the fake the fake wipe. Yeah, what was up with that circle wipe? It was a fake circle wipe, I saying, know, "Oh, this is the end of the show." I don't, well, here up until this point, we've had no circle wipes. Well, we've had great direction. We've yeah. had great uh, cinematic decisions. We had pretty all right writing, um, and then they it's like the stupid Warner Brothers circle wipe down to the mm -hmm. center. Yeah, Porky Pig hops out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, what the heck was that? Yeah, but there, are, there are better ways that they could have handled that situation. Mm -hmm. um, even a, a very slow fade. fade a dark, yeah. A normal fade. Yeah, normal to black. fade to black, yeah. But then that's not it. No, that's not it. Well, Red Trap's still alive. Yeah, the circle. He comes the, out. The, the, circle, the, the circle wipe opens cir back yeah, up. Yeah, circle wipe re, uh, <laughs> reopens. <laughs> yeah. And then the uh, the elevator comes down. The elevator comes down. And it's Rat Trap. Swinging his tail. Mm -hmm. Saying, oh, guys, please continue. <laughs> I don't know why he turned into a Jewish mother or anything. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he's like, oh, go ahead. Keep on. Keep on. I'm listening. I love it. But what I don't get is, like, if he was inside the Axelon uh -huh. and it took him all that time. I mean, I'm assuming that if he got to the elevator, you'd press the button right away. Right? Maybe. Is the Axelon's hull so thin that you wouldn't be able to hear, that you would be able to hear them talking outside a few... Like fifty feet away, through the know. hole, walking well, over he, the he elevator, going down. Well, he is obviously romanced the. Uh, he is romanced Sentinel, to uh, to do his bidding. <laughs> so the uh, so the uh, the security system is eavesdropping for him, and he's got an audio feed to the outside. Okay, that's all. He's all right. monitoring. Fine. Mm -hmm. I'll roll <clears> out. <throat> but yeah. yeah, and that's the episode. Yep, that is the episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. I had a lot of fun with it. I'm glad that you did because you didn't like last week's. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah, yesterday, yeah, last week's was just uh, was just too. I don't know. It was just too cheesy, uh, in my opinion. Badly put. This basically fixed everything that was wrong with last week's episode. Okay, good. Like well, in my opinion. Well, I'm glad. Me too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I really enjoyed this episode. Um, <clears throat> my absolute best my favorite moment of this was the uh the air duct ladder scene where he was splayed out splinter cell style mm -hmm. like you know claws digging into the walls spark shooting and everything it was like yeah that was good yeah that was an excellent shot i'm trying to think of what uh what really stuck out to me about it i think that i i, en I enjoyed uh personally i just enjoyed uh tigertron's role i liked seeing him back Okay. I liked seeing him back because I like the character, uh, and that's that's me, with full on uh, Beast Wars nostalgia. It's like, oh man, Tiger Tron's such a good character. I love him. Yeah, but but you have like, I know. I well, you have, I, you have later. You have knowledge of yeah, later, yeah. So but but that, and that's so that's the thing. So things I, ain't, you know sticking out to me. I had an so. issue with Tiger Tron. Like I mean, sure, yeah, call him in mm -hmm. for help or whatever. But like all of a sudden, like he's just so gung ho about yeah I'm going to get these pretty cards or I don't need no help I don't need yeah. no preds and <laughs> it's like dude where you were dude you were macking out with your tiger lady friend mm -hmm. like yeah. you wanted to stay up north over in 
Canada, Greenland, Iceland area Siberia. or whatever. <laughs> Siberia. Las Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. yeah Post why? apocalyptic <laughs> frozen Post Vegas. Fro- yeah. But like where where all of a sudden did this development come from? I just felt like it was just shoehorned in. It's like all this stuff was there, happening. Well, you know the what? Scenes. We also didn't know we we also didn't see uh, Black Arachnia come back. You know, so like, you know But yeah, Black Arachne has one. And thing. she's working for Megatron. You know, the two new toys are just back and doing their jobs. You know, so it, it, it got to roll out on that. Yeah, one. I'll, I'll Cause that's got to be because those are going to be slower, dramatic stories. Well, I'm I'm just saying that that is one of the reasons that I had less of a uh, less of a grab to you know really like <clears throat> his involvement. I thought it was kind of neat that they mm-hmm. included him. Great, yeah. but like. I don't know. Well, that's one of the things about the show. Like when you know, like I'm on a rewatch, you're on a first watch. Yeah. For me, um, <clears throat> seeing characters like Black Arachnia and uh, and Tigatron get introduced again is is a is a really big treat because I know the rest of the story. I know where we're going. I, I uh, there, there's things that I'm looking forward to seeing again. Mm-hmm. So seeing these characters in these little minor roles mean a lot to me. You know, but uh, but on a first viewing, Rat Trap's the star of the show. Oh, absolutely! This week, you know, so Rat Trap is the star, and then like you know, and I'm like, yeah, Rat Trap, he's awesome, he's fine, you know, and he's the last toy that I would buy, and <laughs> he's still the last toy that I would buy, but the first game that I would play. <laughs> so I have mi- I, I I still have mixed feelings about Rat Trap per se, but I'm, I'm a huge Dinobot fan, and uh, and, uh, and 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 Tigatron is really cool too, and uh, and. And uh, Black Arachnia's toy was awful. <laughs> <sighs> so, oh well, uh, that's about it that we have for this week, right? Yeah, that is else? that is it for this week. I I cannot wait until next week. What's uh, what's next week's show? Next week's show is Guerrilla Warfare. Ooh, Guerrilla Warfare. So I guess, uh, well, you know, we don't ever tell anybody to to, to watch ahead with us. <laughs> so I guess if you feel like it, uh, hop on to Netflix or or, or whatever. Uh, uh, yeah. Netflix, Hulu. Uh, I don't know if Hulu. I don't know it. what services carry the show. Yeah. You know what? Find it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> buy, it, it, buy, buy it. Buy it. On, watch it. Buy it on DVD from our Amazon affiliate link. That's on our. <laughs> <laughs> that's on the website at Optimus. Primecast.com. But anyway, yeah. I've been Dale. And I've been Eric. And this has been the Opti- uh, the uh, woof, the Transformers Beast Wars podcast. Which you can find at OptimusPrimecast.com. We'll see you next week. High five. <laughs>